Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to the Spiritual Queen channel. I'm your girl Chanel Black. Today, we're going to be reading on Christopher Evans and Kiki Palmer. Okay, give it up for those two. Okay, welcome them to the show. Now, the reason why we're reading on them today, because I just did a reading on Kiki. Okay, sister girl going through some things. Make sure you go check out that video with Kiki. And I also did a video, well, a few videos with Chris Evans, okay? Now, we both know that they, now, we all know that they have just finished up a, a show. I mean, I think it's a movie called The Light Year, okay, premiere. That it happened in London, London, okay? So, and they've just given all type of chemistry. Now, Kiki, I mean, Kiki overdoing it. Kiki just, you know, she just putting on, because she got to work. She got to work. She putting on work. And, you know, Chris Evans is handsome, so why not? But Chris is, I mean, he's so touchy feeling. And we know he's been craving some chocolate lately. So, we're going to see what is going on with Chris Evans. And, well, not really what's going on. Because, you know, we're just going to see what's the energy with them. You know, just a fun little reading. What's the energy with Chris Evans and Kiki? Because in Kiki's reading, a mature man did show up at the end as somebody that she could possibly be happy with. Now, that mature man card did kind of look like Chris a little bit. Now, let's see how much happiness can she be with Chris because Kiki, now she's a Virgo, okay? She was born August the 26th. So she's, she's a Virgo and she was um, she's worth $7.5 million. Now, Chris Evans, he's a Gemini and he's worth $90 million. That's a lot of happiness. That's a lot of happiness. That's a lot of good energy. Okay. Because I've done readings on Chris. And Chris has good energy. So that's $90 million of good energy. So. But he's a Gemini, y'all. Is he two-faced? Y'all let me know. But. He, uh, he has the potential to be two-faced. But well, let's just look at the energy. Okay. Without judgment. Let's see. What's the energy for Chris Evans? And Kiki Palmer, please, Divine Angels, if you can give me the best cards from this deck to, to describe their current relationship energy. Okay. No. Just a, oh. Not the first card to pop out. It's the Queen of Cups. Okay, so we got the Queen of Cups, which speaks of a loving, compassionate, psychic, self-sacrificing, deep, psychic insight. Caring for others, but forgiving to take care of yourself. Trust your intuition. A deep love of family and friends. Follow your heart. Okay. So, this card tells me when it pops out for these two, I ask about what's the, what's the current energy. So, they both are giving out loving energy. They're compassionate. You know, they may have some type of deep, you know, a deep psychic, psychic or some type of deep intuition. Like, they both are in tune to their intuition. Okay. And, but it seems like they sometimes can self-sacrifice. Okay. Uh, and to take care of people that they care about. They can, you know, sacrifice their own self for people that they love. And forgetting to take care of themselves. But it says, trust your intuition when it comes to this relationship. It's a deep love of family and friends. Follow your heart. Okay. So, this queen right here, she has a cup. Her feelings, her emotions. She's looking out towards the ocean, which means she's looking out towards her emotions, looking out towards her feelings. Okay. And she's getting a deep, she, I mean, a deep look. Okay, out to the ocean. And it's almost like, and she got her back turned to material things and what's going on in land. You know, she got her feet, her foot, both of her feet in water. But yet she's sitting down. Okay. She's not moving. So let's find out more about their connection. So it seems like, like, this queen right here, she's all in her feelings and all in her emotions, but yet not attached to what's going on. Which means the queen probably not be attached to this. This She don't see it right now. Let's say if there is something between them, she don't see it right now. Because her emotions are somewhere else. So let's see what's going on. Give me more. 
Okay, so there's some type of insight that's going on here. Meditation with the Four of Swords, which give an insight that comes from meditation. The need to rest or take a vacation. Allow yourself more time before making a decision. Mental exhaustion. More sleep. Okay, get more sleep. Okay. So when it comes to this connection right now, intuitive, let's say, let's say if they were meant to be, like I said, she's she's not seeing it right now because she's going through something right now. Okay. So right now the feminine energy is not really in it right now. Okay. So it's like almost like he's like being a bystander. Because it's showing her energy almost now. Because I just read her energy. And that's kind of what I'm picking up her energy. And it's like he's playing it cool. Get another card. Yeah. Okay. So it's like he's balancing now. He's trying to play it cool and be balanced. I know guys like him. They'll have a crush on you for a whole two years almost. And won't say nothing. It says blending the ideas of others with your own to create something extraordinary. Successful compromise. The power of diversity. Self-control, patience, and balance. So, it's almost like he probably knows that she's going through something. Okay? Because she's in meditation. She's in meditation mode. He sees that she's a good person. She's a loving, caring person. And she loves so hard. And I'm sure if they work together, she probably, he probably, she probably done told him what she's going through. So, it's like it's some balance right there. And it speaks about blending ideas with others, with your own, to create something extraordinary. So, he's trying to balance out his emotion, his feelings, to form this rainbow. So, it's like they're going, you know, in order for a rainbow to form, you kind of have to go through some rain. It has to be some rain to get a rainbow. Rainbows just don't come from beautiful, perfect, sunny days. It just don't happen. You need rain. And then followed by sun. So, and it's like with the wings, it's like there's some type of spiritual thing. So, even if, because sometimes men see the relationship as being something before the woman. Because women, we be in our own emotions, probably dealing with something else. And our head is not in the game most of the time. So, it's like blending your ideas and create something that's extraordinary. But then also being successful, it's like successful compromise. To the point that, yeah, he'll wait it out. If if there's something here, okay, he'll wait it out. Um, and then the power of diversity. It's funny that they say that diversity. This would be a very diverse couple, won't it? Okay, interracial. Self-control, which means just play it cool. Stay back in the cup. Be patient and balance it all out. Okay, because it all balance out. So... Let's see. Let's pull some energy. So right now it's nothing here. I mean, I want no, I'm not gonna say it's nothing here because like I said, if he's willing to patiently wait it out, it can be something here. Now Chris is 41 years old and Kiki is 28. So Kiki probably ain't looking like that. You know, she probably she see him because he Chris Evans, but as far as like, oh my god, this is my future. No. no she she's probably not seeing like that. But that's the potential that he may see it. So he's just trying to balance that. Or, you know, he's just being a friend. But let's find out more about this queen of um, cups here. The queen of waters. So there's some emotions and feelings here. Let's find out what's, what is this emotion and feelings. Is it just friendship? Um, just connecting over, you know, he loved his family. She loved her family. She, you know, you know how they go. So let's find out about the queen of cups. Watch that here. Okay. Now we got the moon card that comes out. You know, the moon loves to jump out of my readings. Powerful intuitive epiphanies. Letting go of worries and fears. Understanding the truth of a situation. So there's some truth that needs to be spoken or said here. With the four of autumn. Manage your resources wisely. It says achieve a balance in how you spend and save money. Help out those who are less fortunate. Whoa. So the moon here. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Kiki, okay. okay. Like Kiki is looking out somewhere. I'm just saying that this could be Kiki. Looking out someone that says love and compassion, psychic self-sacrifice, and deep psychic insight. 
So she probably be, you know, she just focusing on work. You know, she probably her, her emotions are somewhere else. She caring for somebody else, and, and she just beginning to take care of herself right now. She ain't focused on herself, but it's like what's unbeknownst to her though. Okay, it's some powerful intuitive epiphanies that's happening. Let go of your fears and your and worries right now. Okay, and right now she's not seeing the truth for what it is in the situation. If there's something here, okay, because managing your resources with the four of awesome, which is like the four of pentacles. It's like there's something that's being, somebody's holding something dear to them. Something like, let's say there's feelings here. It's being held in. It's not being exposed right now. Now is not the time to expose no feelings, no emotions, okay? Not in this connection right now, okay? Because somebody's in the four of swords information, in the four of swords um, energy, okay? Somebody's trying to meditate and get back to oneness with themselves, okay? And it's, they're trying to have some mental insight. So let's find out why this card is here with the Four of Swords. It says, open your heart to love. Okay. It says, baby, when you get done meditating, when you get up off the floor, when you're done meditating, you become one and you, you have peace with yourself. Okay. Because right now you're in that mental Four of Swords energy. Okay. Can't sleep at night. Can't focus for real okay just mentally exhausted probably working a lot but it says open your heart to love it says the beginning of a new intimate relationship or the rebirth of a current one awakening of psychic ability of spiritual epiphanies it's almost like the spirits are kind of working with them to kind of balance this thing out now chris evans could be coming in her life right now to balance out this heartbreak that she just experienced in her last reading okay and I'm not trying to jump to no conclusions, but it says, open your heart to love. It says, this is the beginning of a new intimate relationship or the rebirth of a current one. The awakening of psychic ability of spiritual epiphanies. Now, let's pull from this card. He's going to tell you the truth, kind of whether you like it or not. So let's find out. So, give me more about this moon. Let's find out more about this moon here. Of the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups for Chris Evans and Kiki. Why is the moon here? It's all it's speaking about a lot of epiphanies, like intuitive insights. Like they being like they manifesting each other, probably don't even know they're manifesting each other. Because they probably don't even see each other right now. Okay. No, Chris definitely see her. And she probably don't see him right now. Why is the moon here? Lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany. Still speaking of ep epiphany, transformation. Honey, something's going to happen. Is, I don't know if they're going to look in each other's eyes, honey, and they're going to see like, bam, baby, you the one. A new phase, rekindle, a new, a renewal, a transformation, a growth, changed mind. And he probably asked her, asked her um, do, you date, uh, do you date white chocolate? You know, some 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 choc some chocolate uh, mah mahoganies will say sometimes we'll just say no. But it's like, why are you just gonna turn a man down just just because? You know, don't just judge the chocolate by its um by its flavor. Give it a try. So it's like it's a change mind here, a new phase, a rekindle, a renewal, a transformation here. Some type of growth is gonna come, and it's a moon right now, which means. It ain't being seen right now. It ain't being shown right now. I probably don't even know it's supposed to be happening. Okay? You know, sometimes you'll hang out. You'll be hanging out with your husband. Don't even know he's your husband, honey. Until one day, he show up when you've been, you know, went through something. He done showed up like a hero. Now, you know he was trifling. He was plotting that. Okay. At least he showed up. So, we got new phase, rekindle, a renewal. Then it's like it's going to happen at a lightning pace right now. Like, it's going to, one minute you don't see it, the next minute you do. Okay, so let's find out why it's the, so because right now she ain't looking at him. She ain't looking at him. She don't even see him. She see him, but she don't see him. She knows she's working with Chris Edmund, but her heart is somewhere else. Her emotion is somewhere else. Her cup is pouring somewhere else. Okay? But it's like somebody is saving. Somebody is holding something to, the, to their hearts. Okay? Somebody is keeping something to themselves. This moon card. But, honey, things going to change. Let's see. Why is this for awesome here? Awesome here. 
Honey, the golden mirror. Right now, it's, this speaks of self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, a love bombing. Okay? So, like I said, somebody's keeping this to themselves. They're not speaking about Let's say this is Chris. Okay? This is Chris energy. He see Kiki in a, in a certain state. He like Kiki. He attracted to Kiki. He sees she going through something. He's standing back. Okay? He not, he's not... Um, going to enter this right now because he, he sees it as being a one-sided relationship because right now she, her um, emotions are absorbed somewhere else okay and he don't want to come in and love on it okay or it or do he okay because it is here do he want to come in and love on it and take advantage let's see why is the golden mirror here the runner Okay, runner in a codependent relationship. Fear of intimacy. Okay, listening to the ego. Hmm. Okay, so no, he's not he's not gonna enter this this right now. It's, it's something he's gonna keep, he's gonna run from it right now. Okay. Because he see right now, she's not, you know, she can't be intimate. I mean, when I say intimate, like she's She's probably opening up to him and stuff like that, but about somebody else. I'm sure it's about somebody else. Because right now it's one-sided. And maybe Kiki running from it. You know, Kiki probably don't want it right now. So right now it's like he's managing his his feelings, his emotions uh, wisely, his resources, okay? So he may not be putting too much energy into it because he sees she's looking somewhere else. Okay, so we got the Ace of Summers here. Open your heart to love. Okay, because somebody is meditating and trying to get through it. Why well, is the four swords here? The Kiki and Chris. We got the dragonfly. Be lighthearted. Finding out things coming to light. Adapt. Healing. Change. So, yes, yeah, she is. There is some healing going on here. And maybe with him, too. Because they are mirroring each other. With the golden mirror. Okay. So maybe he's going through some healing too, and maybe they are talking about that. You know, they're probably connecting over that. This is in this is in the center of the reading. So there's some healing going on, and then in the process of healing, some hearts are being open. So give me more about this Ace of Summers here for Kiki and Chris Evans. Oh. He said abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. Come on, Kiki. Okay, that's the only one that turned over. Kiki, this can be abundance for you, girl. If you just open up your heart to love. Because he's standing by. He's standing by. He's not going to enter right now because you got a lot going on. But he's on standby, honey, from what I see. And it says keep a positive mindset. Manifest what you want. And be clear about it, girl. Do you want a ninety million dollar hero? Talk to me. Talk to me, Kiki. So we got the balance here. Why is the balance here for Kiki and Chris? Y'all, they twin flames. This could be possibly be a twin flame relationship, a yin and a yang. Talking about balance again. A union, duality, coupling, a complete, a complement each other, complementing each other. So it's like him being balanced. Him balanced, which means staying in the cut, being a friend, just talking it out. They both probably healing together because he understand. He done been through some stuff too. Okay, they probably came into each other life to help each other heal in this moment. But it's showing up as twin flames, y'all. It says, blending the ideas of others with your own, creating some extraordinary, a successful com um, compromise. The power of diversity, remember? Self-control, patient, and balance. Kiki, I'm telling you right now, Chris Evans would be a good look for you. Okay? Well, you know, if you can get past the age of... I think he's cool, though. If he's not acting like an old man and, 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 and trying to slow you down and you start looking for the girl, get out. Run. Okay? But if he can stay cool, as, as we think he is, 
He may be cool for you, girl. You about to hit 30. Go ahead and enter that thing with Chris Edmonds. But right now, don't rush it. Heal. Kiki is healing right now. And I'm not, do not rush through your healing, Kiki. Okay? Because if, if, if Chris starts to push up on her, she's going to run anyway. So, we got this balance here. Let's, let's pull more about this balance in Twin Flame. Let's see what else it wants to say. If anything. There we go. Ooh, nah, uh Not the seduction card. Girl. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation. But then it also speaks about a third party interference, honey. I don't know if they, by the time they get balanced out, honey, they probably be already in another relationship. And they're going to probably kick it right back up again. Because remember, they was talking about the beginning of rekindling something. So right now, it seems like, oh, maybe it's not nothing now. But hunty, hunty. I think once both of them get through the healing process, she get through her healing, he do his healing, okay? Or really, I definitely see her getting her through her healing right now because she don't see this connection. And he's going to be in the cut. He's going to remember what he experienced, what he endured with her. And he's going to be like, okay, I'm going to sit back. I'm going to chill. I'm just going to balance it out, baby. Okay? Because it's something it's something here. And they may even come back together. And, honey, Kiki may interfere. Or he may interfere with something. And they're going to be it's some type of seduction. Some type of passion going to get kicked back up. You know, Kiki probably be a little older, honey. And, baby, it's going to become a, a coupling, a completion. I mean, okay. All right, let's pull some. I feel like enough has been said for me to pull some love from this love deck and just see. Okay, before I do that, where is my other deck? My other deck don't want to be found, so. <sighs> So, we're going to pull some love decks, some love cards. Oh, you think, oh, they're right in my face, and they want to be found. I just couldn't see. Oh, the agony. So, we're going to see. We're going to pull some cards first, just to kind of see, to confirm how, right now, how Kiki is feeling about um, Chris, and how Chris is feeling about Kiki. So, let's see. First, let's ask how Kiki is feeling about, she, since she's showing up as this queen, how is she feeling about Chris? How does Kiki feel about Chris right now, okay? How does Chris feel about Kiki? Really? Why would you throw your card over there combined with that girl card? Okay. See, he can't even keep his hands off the girl. Your cards go over here, Chris, okay? Yes, yes, your cards go there, baby. Sorry. You can't touch Kiki all the time. Okay, Kiki going through something. You just stand there beside her, okay? No matter what, you just stand beside her. Okay, Kiki gonna see you eventually. So, this is how Kiki feeling about Chris right now. It says, spiritual connection. Oh my goodness. So they may be twin flames. So there's some type of spiritual connection. It's like a relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. Okay, so she feel like there's something there. There's some type of connection there. But it says ask for help. Because even though she knows there's some type of connection here, it says, What do it says, what do you really need? Be willing to accept support. So Kiki is in a confused state right now. She's in a mental state right now. She's trying to meditate and and she probably meditating and she's feeling like it's something here. I feel something here, but she probably feel like she's doubting it. She probably doubting it because she's like, I'm already been through something, I'm not gonna jump to another um, jump to conclusion. I'm not gonna jump and just assume this man, you know, want me. But she feels there is some type of connection here that's leading her back, to, that's leading her to him. Okay, that's her up here. That's him down here, and he's looking up at her. Okay, but it says ask for help because right now she's going through her healing process. So and this is how Chris feels for her. It says the the heart of the matter. There is more going on than meets the eye. Y'all, we can't make this up. There is the heart of, it says, the heart of the matter. The heart of the matter. There is more going on than meets the eye. So, 
what, what we see with these two is it's something way deeper than what's going on than what we see right now. Like right now, we know that they're that Kiki going through a breakup. She's trying to get her heart back right. She she probably meditating, trying to heal. But it's something here, okay, that's deeper than what we see. Okay. A spiritual connection. Not just any spiritual connection, a divine twin flame connection. And Chris is playing his cards right and balancing and everything out. But eventually, seduction is going to kick in if it's not already kicked in now. Now, the second card that Chris came out for, for Kiki, is what? New love. It says, embrace an opportunity for love in your work prospects or for, or for spiritual growth. New love. Embrace an opportunity for love in your work. In your work, in your light year workplace, in the light year studios, in Paris, in London, on the blue carpet. Mm, okay, I'm just saying. Just saying. So, but it says the heart of the matter. So his heart is already kind of in it. And it's almost like he's being protected of, of her. Okay, she's down here sleeping, resting, healing. And he's over, looking over. Okay, because he knows there's something here too. It's more here too that meets the eye. And it's going to happen like, it's almost like she's going to see him like after, but it's like, like right now. If he take them damn shades off, she can probably see his eyes connect. But he got them shades on because he don't want to show his true feelings and true emotions at all. 